Have you ever wanted to build a piece of furniture out of wood, but you don't have all the saws to do it? I'm going to show you how you can build a bar like this or anything else you can dream up with a drill and a few other simple tools. So let's get into it. Hi. Welcome back to Brew City Builds. If you're a newbie here, my name's Marcel. Hello. I've been on a mission to turn our dingy, unusable basement into a 1970s dream space. It has been a legit journey to turn this basement into a place we want to hang out in. So far I've already ripped everything out, put it back together, and furnished the chill zone, but there's still a whole other side that needs some love. So the first step in doing that is building a basement bar. I'm not much of a drinker, TBH, but you can't have a basement in Milwaukee without one. Some of you might know this already, but my friends at Apartment Therapy challenged me to build the bar I have planned out of wood with no saw. Oh my god. It is possible, so in this video I'm going to show how easy it is for anybody to do it. Before I start anything, I need to get my exact dimensions of everything I need, so enough of me talking, let's get into it. <laughs> Project! All right, I got the numbers of what I need, so it's time to go get the wood. I'm starting with the framing of the base, so I'm mainly getting two by fours, but I'm also gonna get a couple one by twos and some plywood for some shelves I'm gonna put in. I feel like now's the time to share my little tip on how you can build anything, so let me tell you about it. So when I lived in Brooklyn full time and I didn't have access to all the saws that I do now, but I still wanted to build things like the record stand or the little shelving unit in the entryway, so the trick to this is to go to your local hardware store, pick out the wood you need, and then ask someone in the lumber department to cut it for you, and they'll do it whatever dimensions you need. I think the rule is they won't cut anything below 12 inches, but other than that, you're good to go. Super easy. So yeah, that's what I'm planning to do on this project to show you how simple it can be. All right, let's go get that wood. All right, the wood is purchased and cut. I gotta say, this is a pretty dope perk. If you don't have a saw, they just cut it for you. Anyway, I'm gonna head home and start building the base of the bar. I'm starting with the bottom frame and then building up from there. I'm using the two by fours that I had cut to the dimensions that I need and I'm attaching them with some two and a half inch screws and some wood glue. All you really need for this part is a drill and a drill bit to do your pilot holes so that way your screws don't split the wood. I'm putting that wood glue between each piece of wood that I'm putting together so that way it Anyway, so that way they're super secure. I'm stopping really quick to talk about something that I don't think I mentioned earlier, but is super important, and that is using a level. I've literally been checking every vertical board as I've been going to make sure they're super straight and square, because if I don't, it's going to turn into a big old mess by the time I'm done. Okay, that's all I got to say. Now I'm going to install the 1x2s and the plywood that are going to be the shelves inside the bar. Okay, she's put together. 
I know it's not done yet, but it's kind of nice to see just how much space the bar is actually going to take up. I kind of think it's perfect. Loves it. Now it's time to paint it. I'm going to be using that same brown color that I used on the hidden door and the door frame. I like how it turned out and it just kind of disappears and that's what I want the interior of this bar to do. So I think it's going to work. So yeah, I'm going to do two coats of this and then we can move on. It's so nice to actually have a place to sit while I'm working down here. It is legit a game changer. I mean, look at this place. It's so cute. Not really. Now that I got that out while the paint was drying, I went back to the hardware store to get the plywood cut for the shell of the bar. The shell of the bar, I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's the wood that I'm wrapping around the base that's really gonna finish it. I just gotta give a quick shout out to Narciso who's been cutting my wood for this. His attention to detail is like legit. He really cares about doing good cuts. So if you're watching this, thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna be attaching the plywood to the base with a brad nailer and some finishing nails. I got the wood cut to the dimensions of the base. So they're pretty big and heavy. So I'm probably putting in a nail every eight inches or so just to make sure they're nice and secure. All right, the plywood is attached. It's not lining up exactly as I had planned, which is kind of annoying because I was being such a freak about using the level, but that's how this DIY stuff goes, so I gotta work with it. I decided to put some two inch pine corner boards on there to make it look really finished. Before I can do that, I'm gonna fill the nail holes that I just made with some wood putty. Then once that's dry, I can sand them down and then I can install those corner pieces. I'm going to be doing the same thing as the plywood with the brad nailer, but I wanted to mention that if you don't have one of those, you can totally use a hammer and finishing nails. They work just as good. Okay, problem fixed. I think that was a happy accident because those little corner bits definitely made it feel more 70s. Anyway, now that everything's all G, I'm gonna go in with a little pre-stain to even out the porosity in the wood, and then I'm gonna do two coats of the color American Maple. I honestly have no idea how this plywood is gonna take the stains, so let's go find out. <music> The stain is on. The first one I used was a little too light and orange, so I went back in for another two coats with the special walnut, and it's way more the vibe. Now that I got it the color I want, I'm gonna let it dry overnight, and then it'll be ready for a coat of poly. I'm just sitting here waiting for Ben to get home from work because it's time to install the bar top and I need his help. I got a Formica piece fabricated here in town since we're leaning into the 70s vibe, but you can literally use anything you want. I painted the rest of the bar with the same paint that I used from earlier, so now that that's dry, I'm gonna have Ben put some weight on the top of the bar since I'm gonna be attaching it from underneath and I need a little bit of pressure to like hold it down. This part's good if you have a helper, but if you don't, you can totally use wood clamps. They work just as well. I just like to force Ben to come and help me after he's had a full day at work. You're terrible, Muriel. So yeah, once he's home, we're gonna finish this thing. Woo! Well, the bar's done and I love it. It feels like it's been living down in the basement since the 70s, which is the whole point. My original idea was a little bit more minimal and contemporary, so adding those little corner pieces totally worked out. 
I'm also really into the Formica bar top. It's the chef's kiss to the whole thing. I'm holding off on showing the big before and after shots of the bar because in the next video, I'm gonna be finishing all the design elements and then the basement will officially be done. Anyway, thank you so much to Apartment Therapy for collaborating on this video. You rule. And so much love to you guys for taking the time to watch my little video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or you want to let me know what you think, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you liked what you saw, feel free to like this video and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. So many airplanes.